It's very important, if you can, to develop a signature trick. A signature trick is something where you absolutely have a piece of magic that at the end of the show people talk about it, they remember it, and if they rebook you they say, oh, will you do that trick? Now, you never quite know what a signature trick is going to be. It tends to find you rather than you finding it. Sometimes you think you've got something that's perfect and it doesn't have that same impact. Uh, but I was very lucky. Uh, Marvin Roy, Mr. Electric, uh, introduced me to a trick that has been wonderful to me. It was a signature trick. I've performed it on TV numerous times, first in 1979, and it has got me booked and rebooked. And it's the linking finger rings. Now, this trick is a powerful one. Uh, when you go out and you borrow finger rings from the audience and you link them in a chain, allow them to be examined, unlink them and give them back, you have done a piece of magic that is profoundly effective to an audience because you use their rings, nothing else. I had certain uh, things that I was very, very uh, geared to wanting to make happen. And one of them was I didn't want anything but the rings. Uh, I wanted to be able to take those rings. I didn't want pencils. I didn't want pens. I didn't want swizzle sticks. I didn't want glasses. I wanted to be able, the only way to me that it was effective was to go out and to borrow uh, rings and put them on your fingers to display them. Now, which reminds me, there's four fingers there. I never liked the entire business uh, of linking just three rings because in doing so, it gives any audience uh, the idea that there may be something wrong with that middle ring. Uh, you can't blame them, can you? So the routine I came up with uh, involves linking, first of all, you link four rings, uh, and then uh, those are men's rings, and then you go, oh, I didn't get a lady's ring. Then you borrow a lady's ring. And so in effect, you've linked five rings. Uh, and what makes this routine so very special, you go into the audience, I give a lot of comedy play, every line uh, is, there for you. You can just pick this up and learn it and do it. But uh, I want to just tell you the, the key part. Every ring that is linked, the person you borrow it from, you can link it right in front of their face and you can link it on the end of the chain. Then you can say, watch, I'm going to move it to the middle. Is it on the end? Did I... Did you see it now linked in the middle? Yes. And this happens with everybody there. There are no switches. Uh, switches are terrible. The moment you have to turn around uh, or uh, in any way obscure what's going on with your hands or, you know, go awkwardly side to side in the room, uh, they may not know what you've done, but they know something's happened. There's nothing worse than going out and leaving a ring in the audience before you begin. I don't care if it's a, a ring that is totally genuine. At the end of the show, everyone is going to hear about it. They're going to hear, oh, well, he gave us a ring to hold on to. So I wanted to eliminate uh, the negative and accentuate the positive. Sounds like a Cole Porter song. And I did that. I, I really learned this routine and put it together at the Magic Castle. Uh, one of my proudest moments in magic, Di Vernon used to come in and watch me do this trick. And he once said to me, uh, Nick, he said, you know, if I really ever had to make a living doing magic, and I never have, I've always done it for love, I would come to you and I would say, would you teach me that routine uh, and because it's that powerful. Uh, we market a very limited edition of this. It involves a book that tells you everything you need to know. It takes a book to do this trick. There is a DVD to show you the moves involved. It doesn't come with a ring. You can use any any Hember ring. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I tell you how to handle that, how to make it better, stronger, improve other rings. Uh, lots of people have rings. What they don't have is the routine. This is the routine and it's the real thing. So you get a DVD disc, you get the sound effects that are necessary for it, you get every word, you get uh, the information you need. Uh, you get television performing rights. This is sold uh, very limitedly. It's 
expensive and for a reason. Uh, I didn't want to sell a million DVDs and have everyone doing it. Uh, so television performing rights are exclusive to you if you buy this. You get the certificate. It also comes with a half hour certificate of Skype. Uh, so that you can talk directly to me because you may want to shape the routine that I do a little bit. Uh, you may want to know how to fit it into your show. Hey, I've done this trick since about 78. If I can't tell you in half an hour how to make this work in your show, there's something wrong because I, I know it backwards. And I give you every bit of information you need to create a signature effect in your show that will be so powerful, you will get booked and rebooked just because of this trick. I guarantee you that. Uh, that is how strong the emotional impact of the linking finger rings is. And mine is the ultimate linking finger ring routine.